we wouldn't have that death on the cross and we wouldn't have had that resurrection take place either. But we're so thankful for everything that he's done for us. If you will, we're going to ask you to bow your heads and we'll ask Brother Bruce if he will ask a blessing on the service. Let us all bow. Most holy and righteous Heavenly Father, as we call upon your most high and exalted name, we just want to truly thank you, Heavenly yes, Master, Lord, for this so day. We thank you, Father, for all your many wonderful blessings that you've sent down from your bountiful hand. We pray, Father, that you touch each heart that's here today. You know what each one of us stands in need of better than I know how to ask, but I just pray, Father, that you touch each heart in a very special way. And, Father, if there's any here that don't know you in the pardon and remission of sin, we just only pray, Father, that you'd open up their eyes of understanding, yeah, Lord, that they might be able to see clearly that they need you more than they need life itself and come to you before it's everlasting too late. We pray, Father, that you'd bless this service, bless the singing, bless everything that's done here this, this day, and we pray that it'll meet your approval. All of these favors and blessings we only beg through Christ Jesus, our risen Savior, and amen. 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 Any other singers want to help us? Come on up. <laughs> so
I've seen out of this book for three, four, three, four, 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 several, four. several years. And I'll have, to, I'll have to speak here a minute. You guys will have to forgive me. <laughs> I never noted it. In the back of this book was Battle Hymn of the Republic. I always thought that was a southern song. America the Beautiful and the Star Spangled Banner. I never know them was in there. Mm -hmm. When I seen them, I started thinking about all those soldiers, Brother Darrell, that give their life. Yeah. It wasn't just the soldiers. People back here on in the United States here. They give up a lot of their freedom too. Yeah. But the soldiers over there are the ones that give their life. And I was thinking about what Christ done. Give his life. He didn't have a whole lot of soldiers went with him, Brother Jim. He had a man help him carry the cross up. <laughs> a lot of soldiers helping him. But when you when you start looking through these songs, we've got a lot to be thankful for. Amen. Uh, we could go on and on. Yeah. I'm satisfied Brother Tony's got today already planned out how he wants Take to. Take your time, Brother James. No, it's, it's, I'm just thankful for everyone that's here. Yeah. And I told Brother Charlie that there's a lot in this church that's lost their companion. In the last little bit here, several people this church is not able to be here. They have some that may be able to, ain't here. But I am thankful for the ones that is here. Yes. And the rest of them, I can't do nothing with them. Sometimes I can't hardly feel my own shoes, let alone worrying about somebody else's. But when I look in the mirror, I see where the trouble is. Yeah. Right there is where all right there is where the trouble is at. It's not it's not with you guys. I love you guys and and, and I need you. Mm -hmm. And uh, not just you all the singers. Yeah. Yeah. Friends. Friends you meet on the road. Angels that you don't even know their names. Yeah. Come and speak the very words you need to hear right out of the blue for no reason. Yeah. Give you strength. But right here is where it all is right here. Yes. It's Jesus Christ that gave his life on the cross <laughs> that we might have a chance after this life is over yeah. to go right on to a better place that we can't even hardly dream about. Yeah. Can't realize it. We can read everything in here. And still our puny minds can't gather it all in how good it is. Yeah. God bless. Do good. Praise the Lord. Good. While we sing this, everybody move around, fellowship, and we'll be going to prayer here in a little bit.
thankful to see all of you here this morning, a beautiful day the Lord's blessed us with, wonderful Christmas Eve service. I'm glad that it fell on Sunday this year. We've gathered out, no better time to recognize our Lord and worship Him. Amen. We've come here today, let's offer Him up praises, and those wise men came to the house there after that He was born and offered gifts to Him. He's not necessarily today looking for that gold or frankincense or myrrh and physical things. He wants our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him, which is our reasonable service. And he wants us to lift up his name in praise and testify of his goodness. You don't have to even say a word to testify of him. You can walk it out there in the world and let your light shine in this world of darkness. Yeah. And they can see. And the Bible says if we do let our light so shine among this world and darkness among men, that they'll see our good works, yeah. and glory. they'll give God the glory. Yeah. glory. I don't mean they're going to go around shouting glory, hallelujah, praise the Lord. There might be some that do when they see our light. Yeah. That means when God recognizes that the world sees him and you, he gets glory out of that. Yeah. They may never make a profession here on this earth to be a Christian, but when they recognize there's something different about you and I, God gets glory out of that. And I want to allow my light to shine. Not make it shine. We go to making it shine, we're going to be in trouble. That's right. Well, let's allow it to shine down on the inside with the love that he's placed down on the inside. Again, welcome you here this morning. We're getting ready to go to prayer. Everybody that would like to have an interest in this prayer, uplift of hand. God bless. Is there anyone with a spoken request this morning? Go right ahead. That's your heart. Yeah. Today, James and I watched a show. It's called Risen. It was a very good show. And on the show, in the show, it shows where Christ healed the leper. Yeah. Back then, leprosy was really leprosy was really bad. Yeah. Man. You take that modern day times now, it's drugs. Mm -hmm. And the people that are on drugs, if they're not in their family, they will be. Just look. That's right. Your son, your cousin, your mother. So, as Christmas time comes, let's really pray for the ones that's really trying to get well. Yeah. 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 Just like that leper, they had to rely on him. Yeah. And those people in that condition has got to rely on him yeah. too. That's yeah. where the help comes from. Uh, don't forget, got a couple of names we thought of this morning. Of course, Brother Noe, Sister Chloe, and their sister passed away. Don't forget that family. Brother Roger Maynard, Brother Richard Wall, uh, Brother Ari Queen taking treatments. Brother Clifford's with us, still needs our prayers. Uh, sister Frankie Smith, both Sister Frankies, don't forget them. Brother Rick Ball battling cancer. Sister Alma Clark, her husband Jerome battling cancer over here. Sister Dorlene Clark in the nursing home. Sister Loretta Williamson, not able to be with us like she used to. Sister Effie across the road. Yeah. Don't forget her. Sister Polly Sansom used to be faithful here. Remember her. Brother James, Sister Donna. Brother Jerry Watts called this morning and said his whole family's down with the flu. Him and his wife and his mother-in-law. Remember them. Brother Dave Maynard and Sister Angela. They're taking care of Sister Angela's mom and dad asking for prayer. That's Brother Hobart Hunley and Sister Lorraine Hampton. Uh, Kayla's grandma, Sister Myrtle Flint in the hospital, heart problems. Not sure exactly what the issue is, but remember her down in St. Mary's. Uh, and her husband, her papaw, uh, Brother Bill, not well. Sister Esther Caldwell uh, having an MRI this morning, trying to figure out what's going on with her. A lot of prayer requests here, a lot of in need. And uh, I know as I've rattled those off, you probably can't even remember all of them. But let's just take ones we've heard and let's take them to the Lord. He knows what they need. 
and leave them at his feet. Anybody else have somebody you want to mention this morning? I ain't birthed to do, but as long as you're back in the hospital. I'm blessed. Um, the mother of my grandchildren, she's had some surgery, and she's having a lot of complications. Mm -hmm. And she was in the hospital Remember those who've been raising their hand, walking the aisle, those we haven't even seen here, those we may not even know that's unsaved. Let's pray for them. We've got Brother Josh here with us today. He came down the aisle Friday night. He's going to be baptized here this morning after service, so we're thankful of that. Keep him and his little family in your prayers. Yes. And a couple of other, Brother Charles Staley, just enlisted. Don't forget him. All the other young Christians and old alike, we're supposed to pray for each other. We need each other as we go along. Yes. So let's lean on each other. There's uh, several of us on this rush trip that comes from time to time and gives her hand to the church to be praying for. And I cannot remember the one young man's name, but he comes directly to me after church the other evening and said, Whatever you buy your needs, he said, You pray for me. He said, Will you do that for me? I said, I sure will. And I've been to doing it. Yeah, and I told the Lord that I'm sorry that I cannot remember his name that the Lord knows all about. Yes, he does. And, uh, and he's, he's been a coming, so just remember him and all of our people. All of our churches has got four or five, usually. Yeah. They'll be a coming, and they'll, they just put it off. Finally, they'll they'll reel that in, you know, and they'll give their life to the Lord. So yes. that's all we can do is pray. And, but they need to pray for themselves. That's right. Yes. People right. thank the Lord so much for his blessings, too. That's right. Your heart. Bless. 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 Bless you too, brother. Anybody else? Brother Tamer, my aunt, she's on kidney dialysis. She's just not able hardly to move, don't seem right. I love, I love we love our loved ones here in this way, brother Tony. We really do. And sometimes the good Lord calls them home. And we love we love Sister Jewel as well. We love all that family and I love Brother Kelly. I told him 
much. I love you, Brother Kelly. I love you. I love you with all my heart. I hope that one day that we can see her after a while. Yeah. I hope that we can live our lives according to what the Lord would want us to live. So we can go up there and say, Emma and our son, my son, with why I'm well pleased. Anybody <coughs> else? Brother Tony, I'd just like to say thank you again, God. And especially comes this time of year when we think of, of the plan of salvation. How God sent the best that he had here to carry it out. Knowing that in, in God's eyes, I guess, you know, we're worthy of that, but it's still still really hard to comprehend yeah. that, yeah. that Jesus slayed and died for us and we can have this wonderful way. The joy and the happiness, the promise and the hope that, that he yeah. gives. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Thank you again. Anybody else? So Tony, remember me and my family and uh, my brother's father-in-law not pray for the service pray for the brethren who will be speaking pray for each other pray for our loss that's here let's give him glory when we bow to like brother Jeff said let's be thankful when we bow down no other requests like everybody able and willing to bow down with us and, uh, we'll ask brother James Clark if he will come around and lead us in prayer let's everybody pray <laughs>
Ask the Lord that you draw the power of your own blessings, Father, to draw them from a field. Help us, dear Lord, that we can live our lives in a way that pleases you. Give us the strength, Father, to Lord, and we pray so we ask for all the blessings we know of and those that we don't like to get above our race. You bless us with me. We will help somebody in the spirit Help us in strength. I'm asking for the spirit of Lord. If we can be just a little servant. What we need doing on. Lord, I'd ask that you would go with ourselves. They go on to borrow what we call Christmas Day. Help us as we go. I pray, Lord, that you would bless people all over this earth. Every word realize that you are the reason for this season. I thank you, Lord, for you giving your life and we freely giving your life upon the cross for our sins. And making a way possible, Lord, that after this life is over, that we could go on and be with you forever. Lord, I'd ask that you would watch over our children. Help them, dear Lord, to open up their eyes before it's too late. We know that old Satan has a lot of toys, and uh, it seems like he's gaining ground, but I pray, Lord, that, that you would bless, bless our children, help our neighbors, Help the ones we can talk to, we can communicate with. Bless all that it's our duty to pray for. And again, Lord, I ask that you would bless whoever stands before us to speak the gospel. I pray, dear Master, and know how your word goes out and touches the hearts of men and women, especially, Lord, the ones that's looking towards you for forgiveness. Lord, I ask that you go with us. Help us, dear Master, to read and understand what and what do our job, whatever it is, and help us, dear Lord, to realize that we're only a servant unto you, Lord. Nothing big, nothing great, but just a servant. And help us to do our job, lead us and guide us in the way you'd have us to go. And Lord, I pray that when our time is done, that all our sins be under the blood of your Son. And that we could go on and live with you forever when this life is over. So as long as our days may be here until you come back, however it is, I pray, Lord, that we meet in peace. Through the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I thank you. Amen. 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 Sister Amanda, got your hands too full to sing a song for us there? You can stay right back there if you want to, or come up here, either one.
Need your prayers. Sister, I'll never I'll never forget that day that you was up here singing, that baby was sitting on my lap. And the instant you started singing, that baby turned around and looked for you. She, <clears throat> I was standing on the banks of the river. Looking out over life's troubled sea, when I saw an old ship that was sailing, is that the old ship of Zion? I see. I stepped on board, I'll be leaving all my troubles and trials behind. I'll be saved with Jesus the captain. Sailing out on the old ship of Zion. You know something? 2,000 years ago, that ship was set a sail. And it's still sailing. You know, just like old Satan, he's going up and down this earth. Seeking whomever he may destroy, devour. But that old ship's got a safe safe place for us to come to if we'll come to it you better get on board because like that song says it's going to sail and it's not going to come back this way sometimes so I don't know the hearts of anybody here in the mines but I beg if you're on the outside of the ark of safety get on that ship because if it goes off and leaves you, and you lay down the wrong way, you won't get back up. You get up to damnation, you won't get to see that city. <coughs> Jesus went away to prepare for us. We'll try to sing this little Christmas song here. This is, as I've said before, is one of my favorite. And uh, it's, uh, to me, it, 
it has the spirit of the season in it. And that season ain't just today or tomorrow, brother. No, it's all year round. It, God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings. That's what I'm talking about. You can feel the spirit, Brother Sanford, in certain songs. It's a bragging on the master. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. In Bethlehem in Jury. This blessed babe was born and laid within a manger upon this blessed morn. The witch's mother Mary did nothing take in scorn. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. From God our Heavenly Father, a blessed angel came, and unto certain shepherds brought tidings of the same. How that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. The wise men there was traveling, following the star, gathering gifts to honor him while coming from afar. The angels sang in harmony, beautiful was that choir. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Sister Bonnie, here a while back, was a she was trying to sing, and she couldn't get a word out, but she rejoiced, throwed them sweet hands up, and praised the Lord, danced around a little bit, and I said, that was the prettiest singing I ever heard of. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about there, that last little verse there, that when them angels began to brag upon the whole, there is a Savior that's born, yeah. Christ the Lord. You'll yeah. find him wrapped in swallowing clothes lying in a manger. Yeah. Yeah. The old yeah. boys, listen, he comes to the lonely people here. That's what we are, ain't we? And the only people that we need a Savior. And he let it be known to people that was looking for him. Amen. And them old shepherd boys, and Brother Tony said here a while back, I still think about him, stinky boys, you know. Mm. Lord, don't, he, ain't, he ain't concerned about these jobs that we've got, these things down here. What he's concerned about is what's right down inside. Amen. Amen. Right. If they were looking for a Savior, yeah. and he let them know that it's we're in the and listen, when that was told to them, Brother Tony, they got in a hurry and went down there and found just like the angel had told them yes, that the did. Lord was wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. They went on their way rejoicing. Well, let me tell you, friend, a few years ago, I found this Savior. 
Yeah. Listen, I tell him all together, not only a, a little vague here. I, listen, I believe the story. That's why God put it in there. Blessed and holy is every male that cometh forth from the matrix. And let me tell you, he was the first that was born to the natural woman Mary. And holy that he is, ain't he? A perfect and living God here among us. I made a little more than the angels for the suffering and death. I'm full of grace and glory. But let me tell you about this. He was the firstborn of the holy divine church. He come forth from the matrix. That's why we call him our elder brother. He was first and he is holy not only in this natural. That he had no guile in his mouth. He had no sin in him. He stood as a lamb slain from the foundation of this world. For the purpose that I can feel what I feel right now down inside of me. As knowing that he at the right hand of Father and making intercessions on our behalf. Holy, holy, holy is His name. It's no wonder that you can read so many times through the Scriptures in the Old and in the New Testament. And when they would say holy, they usually would say holy, holy, holy. Why is that? Because He's the great Trinity. He is Father. He is Son. And he's the Holy Ghost. And we're saying holy, holy, holy unto the great Trinity. And there is one and it's dwelling down inside of us. And we were made in his image and his likeness. And we've got a body here that was made out of the dust, Brother James. I praise be to God. And we've got a soul that dwells down inside of us. And when he breathed in that nostril, the first Adam, he became a living soul. Yeah, yeah. He Amen. got a spirit there too. Because yeah, over the book of James... And it says a body without the spirit is dead. I bet with that spirit of life it's dwelling down inside of us. I we're gonna live for a little while here. And glory, hallelujah, brother Herb. We're gonna live forever over here. Amen. 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 And it's good to be here this morning. Yeah. And it's good to celebrate yeah. how the birth of this man called Jesus. Hey, listen, I give him praise and glory and honor after everything that he's given me. I like how Brother Tony reminds the little church here that let's not only bring our petition to him to ask him things, but let's thank him for what he's already done for us. Hey, glory, I do, Brother Sanford. And I find myself, hey, you wouldn't think I would, but I sure do. I find myself thinking him more and more all the time. Yeah, oh, when I go to the graveside, I brother Clifford. Hey, I always say, Lord, I'm glad for the comforting words down in your word. Uh, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, which is far, far better. I'm going away to prepare a place for you. I word that I am, you can be also. In my father's house, many mansions. If it were not so, I'd have told you, but he told us, didn't he, brother Lord? Hey, that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, there is a rest that remains for the children of God. Not for the wicked, but the one that belongs to the Lord. There is no rest for the wicked, are they? Hey, but listen. He's made promises in the scriptures that comforts us. Uh, we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord, I shall not permit them which do sleep. I for the dead in Christ shall rise first. And we which shall alive and remain, I shall be changed in a yeah. moment yeah. of a twinkle of an eye. Be call it together I in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and forever be with yeah. the Lord. Hey, yeah. wherefore, comfort one another with these words of the Lord. Yeah. I like how you put it in there, don't you? Yeah. Hey, the promise of God is real. I, those of us that's in this good way, we know that's true, Brother Noah. Well, the glory of those of you that's still putting it off. Why are you putting it off? What did I say just a minute ago? There is no rest for the wicked. For the wicked. There ain't no promise of eternal life for the wicked. No. So what are you saying, Charlie? You call me wicked? Eternal Listen. There's sin in this flesh, friend. Yeah. I'm talking about this one right here. Yeah. It's in you too. There's only one way you can take care of it. By the Savior that I'm trying to speak to. By the blood of the Lamb. Are you made holy? Yeah. Whoa, that blood that come from the first Adam. Whoa, it was.
was it was perfect, Brother Tony Cosell made it perfect. Well, but he chose the very energy, the very life that God placed into him to go the wrong way. Yeah. He chose that, friend. And when he done that, him being our father, he called every one of us, Brother Dale, to do the same. Hey, God said in the scripture, this was meant, Brother Noy. He made us subject to vanity. Huh? But listen, he subjected the same in hope. Whoa, vanity, vanity, all is vanity, the preacher said. Yeah, yeah but we've been subjected uh, to the same in hope. And when I was subjected, Brother uh, Clifford, a uh, few years ago, I reached out and got a hold of hope. Uh, yeah. What's his name? His name is Jesus. Amen. 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 Don't that make you feel good this morning yeah, to know yeah, about yeah, Jesus yeah, that dwells yeah. down inside of us? He is the comfort. He is glorious. He is magnificent. He is Savior. He is sitting at the right hand of the Father, making intercessions, Brother Sapphire, on our behalf all the time. Well, I can go to it, Brother Bill, any time, and I do yeah. a lot. Yeah. And say, Lord, it's been again. I need your comfort. Yeah. And when I need it, he knows when I need it, he'll give it to me. But sometimes I don't need it. Yeah. I just think I need it. Sometimes I need to walk in the valley a little old sometimes so that I'm a trusted in. Yeah. That I'm a learning to trust yeah. him more and more and more. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, and I can say this morning, glory, glory, glory to his holy name. At the name of Jesus, the scripture said, every knee should bow. Yeah. Sure. Every tongue should confess, Brother Sanford, as you sing that song. Well, but there's coming a time, my friend, that every knee shall bow, yeah. and every tongue shall confess of the glory of God. Because yeah. you're going to look upon him one of these days. It might be today. Right. How is it going to be good. in your life? Yeah, How is it going to be in your life if you face him, if you see him? Well, coming in the clouds of glory, like lightning that shines from the east to the west, brother. How's it going to be in your life today? Are you going to be able to say, Come, Lord Jesus, come quickly, my Savior. Or are you going to be dead to get their knees and knocking together in fear and saying, Well, I don't know what's coming next. I don't know already been told what's coming next. I pointed out to man who wants to die. And then the judgment. We shall be judged according to the deeds of son in this flesh, Brother Tony. And whether that they're good or whether that they're evil. And when we stand before this just God, he knows, Brother Noah, everything about us. And we'll be a just judge, won't we? The judgment will be just right. And it's so right, Brother Sanford, on that day. And the wicked, even the wicked, will say, Boy, they'll argue with you here, though, won't they? Some of them. Yeah. 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 The wicked, even yeah. the wicked, will say, Amen to my own condemnation. Yeah. Right. You're right. right and I'm wrong. That's right. right. But it'll be too late, Brother Brooks, on that day for me. That's why we have little church sessions like this. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. only for us, Brother Lord, to come out and get our spiritual strength renewed, yeah. but that we might tell the story of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That somebody else will believe it. Yeah. And I ain't talking about just with the mind. <laughs> Well, I'm talking about you get it right down inside of where you live. Say, as for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. That's what we want them to believe in that Brother Sanford. We want them to believe in all their heart, soul, strength, and mind. I bet they might go on their way down here a little while. Rejoice, son, in this hope. Amen. What are you talking about, Charlie? You can rejoice. I am right now. Yes, yeah. Hey, it might yeah. be in a few minutes. I might be weeping. Well, but I'm going to enjoy in it for a little while. <laughs> and you can too, friend. Yeah, man. If you want it bad enough, you can have it. That's right. Yeah, man. That's right. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. Yes. That's why he was born here, Brother Tommy. Amen. That whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yeah. Well, I've yeah. got it abide down inside. I believe it. And the quickening spirit, the same that quickened Jesus yeah. when he was raised from the quickened my inward person and brought him alive. Yeah. And it's up to me to keep it there. How do I do it? Yeah. Well, this is how you do it. Once you get it brought alive in Jesus, follow his word and his spirit and he'll stay alive. Amen. Amen. Hey, keep your eyes upon the Lord, the altar, and finish your life later. And he'll show us the road. Amen. 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 Hey, it's all road down here. I study to show yourself approved. I'm working that 
needeth not to be ashamed. I rightly dividing the word of truth. It's right here. Yeah, I right look here. for that truth around me. I, I, listen, this world is yeah. full of condemnation. Yeah. It's full of lies. It's getting worse all the time. That's right. right. Well, but when I get home and I begin to look something up that somebody said, no, it was wrong. I can see it and find it and wrap it around. Yeah. Not only physically do I do this sometimes. Yeah. I do that spiritually all the time. Yeah. I drive down the road. Yeah. 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 It's wrapped around us, a shield of faith. Yeah, yeah. yeah. glory if we'll hold on to the Lord. Yeah. It's going to be good one of these days. Yeah. 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 Hey, listen. There is a place that we can go to where there's peace, joy, and happiness. Forevermore. Hey, Don't you yeah. let go. Yeah. You gotta believe it with all of your heart, so strength and mind. Don't you try to have to wrap that and wrap the car around and it, because you'll never find it. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta yeah. keep it right down the side of yeah. it, down to your heart, yeah. and say these horrible things that the world has taught me. I can't use that to find Jesus. I, but what God has placed down inside of me, at the very heart, the very life, at the very heartbeat of the natural and the spiritual, I, if I'll depend upon him of my feelings, I ain't talking about worldly feelings. I'm talking about that spiritual feeling. Yeah. I bet when the truth comes forth and that you can feel it right down in your soul and you know that it's the truth and if you'll move out on the truth you can have it. Yeah. 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 Well James a few years ago the truth comes to me. Yeah. I was taught the truth growing up. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about something different here. I'm talking about the truth. Not open your God world. himself. Emmanuel. God with us. He, is he still comes down in that spirit brother Tony. He works through brothers and sisters here. I to reach one another. The table is full. And he's the same come eat. Yeah, yeah, I like the table ever stays full. It ain't going to never run out. Hey, when you, I, the Lord reveals something to you in this, uh, and you get a little morsel of bread, and you understand, and you say, glory, glory, hallelujah. Well, I'm going to look a little farther to see what else I can find. Mm-hmm. He ain't never going to run out, friend. That's right. I hear from Brother Bly. He fixed it that way. Amen. That we can keep feasting and it's keep getting sweeter and sweeter and sweeter <coughs> all the time. Ain't it glorious? Yeah, yes, well, Lord, I've said I think it's over in Revelation, if I remember correctly. He said that this word is like honey in the mouth. <laughs> well, I like honey, don't you? Yeah, better than you <laughs> But when it gets down in the belly, Brother James said, Gets bitter, not brother. What's he talking about? Down inside of you, that soul I'm talking about, when it hears this and it believes this and it takes it down, it's sweet. Yeah, because we know it's true. We're found on the rock. His name is Jesus. But when then it starts to come into the surface of this old man, don't like it, does it, brother? No. No. It's against the grain. Brother James said. We looked in that mirror. Old brother George Jefferson comes to my mind again when we sit there. Yeah. That's where all the trouble comes from. Right? Yeah. Well, you look at that, that, that natural mirror. This natural man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Remember how old brother George used to say, Ha ha! He <laughs> said, You're the man that causes me all this trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Yeah, it is. You know, there's another mirror. There's a glass in here. And when we look into this glass, what are you talking about? This is a glass of reflection of who we are. When we read this and understand by the will of God, it'll reflect us who we are, brother. And when we get in this and we're living according to his plan, it'll reflect to us. You're doing you're doing fair. I just put it that way. But when we've done all we know to do, we're counting ourselves on top of the Just for do. Yes, but we can't say we're doing good. <laughs> None good. But we're making it by the grace of God. By the grace of God. That's right. This will reflect who you are. By the grace of God. When old preacher man's preaching, it's reflecting who you are. I ain't talking about me. I'm talking about greater is he that dwells down inside of me. That he that's in the world, he's always been the preacher. He always will be the preacher. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld His 
story as the only begotten Son of God full of grace and truth. Uh, what was the old apostle that wrote her down on John talking about? He talking about Jesus. Yeah. In the beginning, you get back here, Brother Bruce. And you like to speak out of it like I do. Yeah. Like Genesis. Yeah. In the beginning. God, outside the box, yeah. what do you think about this? Always in the big Spoke existence inside the box. All that he spoke into existence is in the box. And we're subject to the box. We're here for a little while, but, yeah. but he made a way that we can get out of the box. Yeah. <laughs> Brother Dale, I'm still in the box here. Here, now you ain't oh, here. here. But there's a promise that went out a long time ago that if we'll follow him, we'll do what the Lord said. That he said, what I say about that inward man being quick to draw all ago, he said, mm -hmm. even the creature itself shall be yeah. Yeah. Brother Tony, we can read in the scriptures time and time again when that God says something twice or establishes this twice. That's what it is. It's a sacrifice. Amen. So we as Christians, just in time, have been quickened on the inside. We're walking in faith and in hope and in that grace. Yep, that's right. That's what we're doing. Yeah. We can stumble and fall. We do. Yes, sure. We can fall clean off the rock. Not by accident. No, sir. We'll have to have a walk to do that, won't we? Yeah. Oh, my. Somebody would want to get off the rock that's called Jesus. These people does it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a serious thought. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard people say that they slip the slide all over it, you know. Well, that's our fault. Yeah. 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 But you get off of it, you'll not never get back on this rock again. Amen. Amen. That's the way I believe it. It's scary, I want it's people serious. to understand that this is real. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I want you to, yeah. I want yeah. you to yeah. take yeah. everything yeah. that's yeah. inside yeah. your mind and heart and put it up on the good things of God and keep your mind and your heart. And your view, I'm talking about everything you've got upon the Lord, not slip and slide. Sometimes, Brother Tommy, we'll stumble, but we're still on the rock. It's a great big rock. And he'll pick us up, dust us off. Say, so get on your way and get some more work out of you while it's called yeah. out. Yeah. So don't you worry about falling. That rock will be. Yeah. He'll catch you. And let me tell you, when you fall, you'll bust your kneecaps on that old rock. Except that he whoop on us, the one that belongs to him that's not yeah. bastards. That's right. We've done things that's not right, we're going to get whooped. Amen. Many times. And when we go through those weapons, it's not pleasant, Brother Dale. But when we're through with it, it brings us forth peaceful fruits, Brother Noah. Yeah, he glory at you, glad yeah. he loves us so much that he'll give us a whooping once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People raising children, boy, all hot and whoop now. You better walk on that's what the Lord said. Yeah. Let me tell you, you don't have to teach a child nothing about the evil and the sin of this world. That's right. It's in them. We was made subject to vanity right. from the beginning. We go after the worldly, earthy things. We don't have to be taught that. Yeah, but listen. He subjected the thing in hope. This is what we're subjected to. And this is the hope. And if we'll teach our children to refrain from doing bad things and mean things, if we'll teach our children to be kind and loving, that ain't natural to them, brother. Yeah. You give me my toy, that was mine. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nature. But if we'll teach them right. Yeah. They want the park run, brother. They want the And I believe the Lord. Raise your children up in the admonition of the Lord. What scripture said, they shall, it shall not depart from them. Think about that. Well, what do you mean they're going to grow up and be a Christian? No. They can grow up and be a Christian. Yeah. But that means that it'll be placed in their own minds if you're taught and right. That that which you taught right will never depart from them. And when they reach the age of accountability, and old Satan, he starts laying out these lustful things to them that the Lord well tells us about. Lust the eye, lust the flesh, the pride of life. That very good thing, Brother Tony, we taught our children, will come back to the line and say, well, that's wrong. Amen. This word which we preach, 
It is not even in my mouth and in my heart. Word of truth. God already placed it there, Brother Hurt, when he made man a long time ago. God's portion was inside of the man. He made us in his image and his likeness, and Satan added something to it and messed it all up. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Yeah. Now that word that God said, right back to it, right? <laughs> Don't eat of this tree here in this garden in the beginning there. This is mine. Why? Because it's right in the middle of all things. It's right in the center. Yeah. Now always when you read, Brother Tony, right in the center is God. Don't touch it. It's not yeah. time to touch it yet. Don't eat of it. Ain't time to eat of it yet. I'll tell you when time is. And when they touched it and eat of it, death was pronounced upon them. Why? Because they believed the lie and was damned. When Satan added that one word, the Lord said, Thou shalt not eat of this tree. Satan's. Satan said, Go ahead and eat up. Yeah. 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 And that word that was once true, it became lies. It wasn't God's word anymore, Brother Allen. But it was the devil's word. Yeah. Wasn't no half truths, wasn't no half lies. It's all lies. Because Satan, he, he tampered with it. Yeah. Guess what? The man, they fell after that lie. They was with. Yeah. There was something added to the man on that day. It's called sin. Yeah. Did that come from God? No. No, sir, really it didn't come from God. Come from that lust that they had. She desired that fruit. She reached out and got a hold of it. That's where it comes from. And by that woman and that man's disobedience towards God, Death was pronounced upon all of us. Yeah. Right. Amen. But let me case. From generation to generation, that's why we're still dying on the outside. But you don't have to die on the inside, friend. Because there was a second Adam, which is called in the scriptures the last Adam. And he became a quickening spirit. He's from above, a quickening spirit. Adam was earthy. He's from below. He desires the things of this earth. We're still here. I sure it is. But this inward man that's took up his abode inside of me, that quickening spirit that comes from above, he brought me alive on the inside. Yeah. He can bring you alive too. Right. That's right. If you will just trust him and turn it all over to him. Amen. Listen, on this magnificent, marvelous Christmas season, yeah. it's okay to go to your family's house and, and enjoy your time together here. God will take care of that way. Here. To laugh, yeah. sing some old Christmas songs, be merry, eat too much, brother Sandy. <laughs> but let me tell you what you need to do. You need to think about that little baby that was born here. Yeah. Right. Jesus is the reason for the season. Yeah. You need to think about how that God blessed every step of the way in Him. Yeah. Emmanuel, God with us. That's right. That brought Him from the state of being a little baby. That Satan all along the time, throughout all the scriptures, you can read all the way down to you. If you look real close, you can find where Satan was right at work at trying to cut off the house of Judah. Because he knows by the old scriptures, they don't know scriptures better than I do, Brother Tony, that they were the Messiah coming. <coughs> Satan was coming. Amen. Old Herod, being directed to the devil, know that that was a Satan coming. Know that the Christ was coming because them old boys that told him that where's the king that's going to be born? But he went and asked the men of God and the scribes that know the law of God, where's the Christ to be born? He did that. Friend, you know too. You know who I'm talking about. And you know that you need him. Amen. Amen. You already know that you need him more than the next breath that you breathe. Amen. So why, 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 my goodness, why are you putting it off? Sit in your safety, Daddy, you stay out a little farther. And then you'll say, you'll make a deal with the Lord like I did. Yeah, Lord, give me a good wife, and I'll serve you. Yeah, Lord, give me a little son, and I'll serve you. Just keep on putting it out a little farther, Brother Sam. That's our nature, ain't it? Yes, that's right. But the good spirit will reveal to you. 
Quit setting the stake out and pull it in. Or like Brother Tommy's preached before, just clean remove it and turn your life over to the Lord. Amen. Yeah. All that's good. Yeah. Quit fighting and planning about serving the Lord and do it. Yeah. Yeah. Quit putting it all okay. and do it. Now is the accepted time. Today is the day of salvation. Harden not your heart. Yeah. All through the lineage of time, Satan calls men and women to harden their heart against the things of God. Yeah. And God is in trouble, friend. Absolutely. Satan is right now I'm trying to harden your heart against what is touching you. Down inside, that spirit that's letting you know that it is Christ and he loves you and he wants you to break down and weep like a baby. Am I right? And pride down inside the creature will begin to nod up in the throat and swallow it down. It ain't time. It ain't not right now. Turn all that foolishness loose, that vanity. Turn it loose and call the good spirit. And say, ha, ha, ha. I love the Lord. Yeah. We can cry and mourn. I love the Lord. I'm going to serve him while it's cold day. I thought when death comes upon you, friend, you'll never have another opportunity. Listen, I want you to enjoy today and tomorrow and rejoice in this hope that we've got. Those of you that's on the outside, get a hold of this hope. This man called Jesus and rejoice in this. And go on your way rejoicing. While it is called day in our life yeah. here. Manifold blessing in this life. There's another promise, Brother Tony. Jesus said he promises manifold blessing in this life. And everlasting life to come when this life is over. Right. If we'll follow him. He said, I'll go with you. Always. I'll be with you in six troubles. Yeah. That's where we're existing in. Yeah, that's right. That was such a day. He said, Yay! No evil shall touch me in the seven. I like it, don't you? My wife is our brother Sanford. Yeah. We're all going to be there. <laughs> One of these days, if God allows time to go on, well, we're going to be changed in a moment of a twinkle of an eye if he comes back. Yes. Oh, Lord Jesus, come quickly. Let's get ready and go home. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my daddy used to say, it's better farther on. Yeah. 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 I want to yeah. see him again. I want yeah. to rejoice. I want to sing with him again. Brother Sanford, you talking about us singing. Well, there's going to be a perfect harmony, yeah. ain't it? Ain't yeah. it going to be good, Brother Jeff? To be able to have a glory back my life into the Son of God and rejoice forever and say, the song of Zion forevermore. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Don't put it off. Follow the Spirit. It's dealing with you right now. How do I know that? Because greater is He that's in me than He that's in the world. He's a dealing with me this morning than He's a dealing with you. Yeah. 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 The devil's dealing with you too and trying to keep you out of God's church. Yeah. He wants you to die and go to hell like that he's already. Yeah. I never amounts to do that. I, but you don't have to. I, you can have the Lord down your life. And you can live. You can live. You can have life down inside of you. And live and rejoice forevermore. And glory is with us. And he is marvelous. And he is great. Amen. And his name is Jesus. Yeah. And I love him this morning with everything that I've got. Yeah. Praise yes. the Lord. That's why I'm here this morning. Yeah. 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 This way. yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Bless you. Thank the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I am not ashamed of my Savior. <laughs> There was a time I thought people would think I'm crazy. That's like that. I don't care. They thought them old apostles. I was crazy on the day of Pentecost, didn't they? Oh, they must have been acting like drunk me because they thought they were. Hey, that's what I feel giddy this morning. I feel good in the spirit and I don't want to stop. I want his word to go out. And when his word goes out, it says, It shall not return unto me, boy. I bet it was upon his word unto the I see it is. Yeah. Oh, Lord, the Lord is talking to me, man. Amen. Amen. And it's strong this morning. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to save his people, God. That's right. Amen. Time's running out, brother. Call Amen. Amen. That's right. <laughs> There's no promise of tomorrow, brother. He 
Jesus told us, foretold us about the truth, didn't he? There's no promise of tomorrow. You may never have the touch of the master's <coughs> power upon you again. That's right. The Spirit of God may never touch him again, Brother Sam. Right. There's people that we go to the old funeral home from time to time. No doubt the Spirit of God touched them, Brother James, on many times in their life. And they turned it away. And we look on their pale face. And we have to say, you know the tree by the fruit that it bears. And if they didn't bring forth good fruit, uh, ooh, it don't look good, does it? That's right. That's as far as I can go with it. As far as I want to go with it. So we're going to stand before God. Yeah. And God's going to pronounce something that's true upon them. Yeah. Depart from me, and I'll work with the next day. Yeah. 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 You know what iniquity is? It's worse than sin. It is sin, but it's worse than sin. Brother Tony, the biggest part of what iniquity is is self exaltation, it's trusting in oneself. To make it through instead of trusting in God. That's what Satan done from the beginning. Satan from the beginning, he trusted in himself, didn't he? Yes, he did. He didn't present God with his being that God gave him. He presented himself. He said, I know what I'll do. I'm sick of that chest out. I'll make my throne to the heights of the stars of heaven. Did he do that? No, sir, really. There's something else happened to him, wasn't it? He was cast out of heaven. And all them stars and angels were cast out with him down here, Brother Sam. And there are demons and devils down here. And they're talking to our people trying to get them on the outside of the church. Tell them a bunch of lies every day. Through the media, on computers, on radio, on TV, any way that the devil can reach his people. Keep them all messed up all the time. But at the same time, God's word is true and it's went forth and it will continue to go forth until the very last a moment of time is here. And it's up to people to receive it Amen. and be blessed. Amen. You know what God said about old Satan there when he self-exalted himself? And he said that iniquity was found in. He said, I'll cast him down to hell. To the size of the pits. That's something to think about, ain't it? Friend, let me tell you something how marvelous that God is. I'll try to get out of the way, Tony, just in a moment here. Yeah. Like I said earlier, said he made a way for your escape. His name is Jesus, the God that loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son. And whosoever the truth believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hell was never made. That's right. Amen. Nowhere in the scriptures can you read that it was made for God's people. God plainly told us that God made hell for the devil and his angels. But now let me tell you something. This is, this is, this is as true as I can put it. All those that are not following God through his son Jesus is a fallen death. That's right. That's right. Oh my goodness, Brother Sandra, when I was told that about 33 years ago, thank you, Matthew Bull. I said, I am absolutely not following Satan. Kept thinking about that, Brother Lloyd. Come to the conclusion that I had to be following him. Because there wasn't nobody else but Jesus to follow, and I sure wasn't following him. That's right. That's the truth. And the devil don't want you to know that truth. The devil wants you to know this. I don't exist. And like the brother said, I'm okay. I've got plenty of time to make things right. But you don't. No, no, you I was, I was young, Brother Tom. When I got a fear down in my life, the whole duty of man is to fear God and keep his commandments. What does hold me? If I had a whole apple pie, I'd have another apple pie. Just randomly say. <laughs> I look at that and say, that's mine. That hole right there is mine. That's been greedy, ain't it? I do, sure, brother. I do. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> but that's what God's saying to us. The whole duty is man. All of it. Why? That's why we're here. Right. It's to fear God and keep His commandments. <laughs> that why? That He will get glory out of our lives. Yeah. Let me tell you, friends, when He gets glory out of your life, 
He'll pour the glory right back in you, and you'll get glory in your life. Yeah. You'll be free from that sin. You'll be light as a feather. I'm talking about down inside within. You'll feel like an angel. Is that the truth? <laughs> down on the inside. Down on the inside. Yeah. Read over in the scripture. I need to get out of the way. Over the revelation. Why don't you think about this? Especially Christian man. man. John, in the spirit on the Lord's day, seeing all these things that God was showing him. Angel showing him around there. And he fell before the angel. The one. The wash of him. Now that's the interesting thing, right? And the angel said to John, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow brother and thy fellow servant. Do you know that was said twice in the revelations over there? Sounds to me like God's established, don't you? Sounds to me like that the prodigal son can come back to father's house where the elder brothers are. That sound reason? I better hush. I love each and every one of you all. I want you to think about things that the Lord put on your mind and heart. I want you to ponder upon it. I want you to get down in that scripture there and dig it out for yourself. Now don't listen to lies and fables. You'll hear all kinds of stuff from all this media anymore. They'll tell you in confusion terms. Satan is the author of confusion, Brother Tom. He's got many gospels that are going out. And they're all different. But there is only one true and living way. There's only one true gospel. And it'll lead us from here to here. It's kind of problem. And his name is Jesus. May God bless you. My prayer. Brother Tom, I better hush. If you're ready for the church this morning, I pray with everything that's inside of me that you will make the right decision and you will not put it off any longer. Because, Brother Snapper, I know the Lord is filled with people this morning. Yes, he is. I felt it strongly this morning. And you know, Brother Dale, people can put the Lord off from them. Oh, it's a scary thing to put the Lord away from them. You need to follow them. While it's saying, if you're ready for the church, come up and let me know. It'll be taken care of. Don't let the devil steal it away from you. The Lord's got his hands stretched out, saying, come. Church is saying, come. Whosoever will, let them come. Drink of the water of life, free.
We've got another one ready here. We well, thank the Lord this Praise morning. The Lord. Praise the Lord. Brother Tony says we give the Lord praise and Lord for yes. good blessings. Yeah. This is the best blessings that we can get your Amen. Yeah. To turn it all loose. That's right. Everything in this world. Yeah. To turn it over to the Lord. Yeah. You believe the Lord has forgiven you of your sins. And you're willing to follow him all the days of your life according to the old King James Version of the New Testament. Praise the Lord. Well, Lord yeah. It's in favor of receiving this, our sister, after leaving her bad time. Let it be known the same guy. Aye. 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 contrary. They won't be known. Praise Praise the Lord. The Lord. Go ahead, brother. Tony, get another song. They might, might be another one ready. Move around, and if while they're moving, if there's another one ready, come down and let us know while we've That's sing this song. Yeah. I have shoes for my feet. I have plenty to eat. And the holy heaven by and by. Brothers and sisters on this earth, they are mine, my new birth. And we shall share. She wants to be baptized this morning, too. Yes. That's great. Lord. We'll let That's great. their dad, what a great honor it is to have an uncle and a dad to yeah. be able to bury some of their family in Christ, yeah. risen with him. 
in baptism. What a great honor that is. So we're going to get another song, and while we're singing this next song, go ahead and look, look for one there. While we're getting this next song, the church door is open, and we'll extend it to our unsaved here. If there's one or more that would like for prayer, you can come down and let us know that as well while we're yeah. singing. Church, you move as you feel led here this morning. Anybody have one? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. We're going to sing another song. One tea. One tea. <coughs> I've changed my mind. Thankful we've got two more. It's changed their mind. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Some of the sisters wants to go back here with her too and help her get ready. They can as well. Once I was a sinner in darkness all alone. My soul was in despair by sin Sweet. 
137. There's a
will praise his name forever. God has been so good to me. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Is your absolutely worthy. Amen. Have you still got your Christmas song? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Sing another one. Brother Tommy, you can sing one. Once I was cold in the rags of my sin, wretched and poor, lost and lonely within, but with wondrous compassion, the
This is our hope that we've got. Yes. You know, Brother Junior's preached to us today, we're coming down to that appointment of death. But if we've been resurrected in Christ Jesus, and we go down in death, it's not going to sting us one bit. Nope. On that morning when we raise up, we'll look back at that old grave, old death. Where is your sting? Yeah. Old grave, where is your victory? We're not going to have to worry about it when we get there because we've got one that's going to be there to hold our hand and he's already defeated it for us. Amen. When we look at it, we'll have to say, even so come, Lord Jesus. And we can greet it with a smile on our face yeah. knowing it's better on the other side. Praise the Lord for what he's done for us. Lord. <coughs> Low in the grave, Jesus lay, bound by death night and day. As soldiers stood in hopes they would, his body stay. But on the third day, he arose out of the tomb, the story. Alive and well, he walks once again. I'm gonna rise right up when he calls my name. And the dead in Christ are gonna do the Promise me that someday soon their face I'd see yeah. in a land where the dead shall live again. I'm gonna rise. Take a doctor somewhere and put us in the ground on these hills. 
Someday it's you're going to be able to speak. And all the sleeping dust is going to wake you up. Yeah. I don't care how long we've been in the ground, it don't make no difference. It's been a week or a million years. We're going to come forward. And we're going to give an answer for what we've done, what time we've been speaking. In the if it's been good, it'll be well with us. Yes, it will. We can really, we can really say that I'll live again. If it's not been good, we'll live, but it won't be living. It'll be peace, joy, and happiness up there, and it'll be eternal punishment down there. That song, brother, just sang about that old shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's passing by. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is part of it. That's right. It's the church is what it is. Yeah. And that's what he's coming back after is the church. So get in it. Get on board, whatever you want to call it. A ship, a boat, the ark, the safety of the church, it's all the same thing. But one day after a while it's going to leave here. And you want to go to heaven. Yeah. If you want to go, today you've got one more chance. If you're not ready, if you're not already in it, you got a chance today to get in it. And when it leaves you, you can sail away to heaven. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I ain't got nothing to look forward to here in this old world, really, but same thing I know. Tomorrow there'll be more troubles than there was today, and the day after that be more trouble than there was that day. That's true. Job told us years and years ago, a man's born to woman a few days and full of trouble. We know what he's talking about, don't we? Yeah. We can understand that. Yeah. But after a while, peace and love and joy and happiness forever. Yeah. And it's real. It's real. <laughs> Whatever it takes. <coughs> but you were talking about falling, slipping, and sliding on that rock and stuff. I got some scars on my knees. But I've got up every time. That song that Tommy Denham sings, he reaches. Yeah. yeah. Wading in deep water. I can reach up and he'll reach down and get to us. He promised me that he'd never leave me. He'd never forsake me, that he'd go with me all the way to the very end. They sing a song sometimes, and he'll hold my hand when I'm crossing over. I don't think he'll hold my hand, I think he'll carry me right over on the other side. <laughs> Sue, I've missed it so bad. I'm six weeks I didn't get to come. You don't have no idea how I missed it. If you've got an opportunity to get out and go, go. Because it may happen to you, you can't go. Go every time you can. Enjoy it. That's all we got to enjoy, really. It's what he gives us. We may, some, all of us probably do something. For Christmas, we do that. That's the way we are. We can enjoy that. That's nothing but knowing what we'll be like. What we'll get to enjoy when we get over there. Yeah, that's right. Praise the Lord. It just, oh, it feels so good. It feels so good. I don't know, have no idea how long I'm going to be here in this old world. I may leave out here before it gets dark today. I don't know. I may stay around several more years. But one thing I do know for sure. I, I know this. I, I didn't see no, I didn't see all this take place when Christ came down here. I didn't see him when he hung on that cross. I didn't see him when he got up out of that tomb, but I believe it all happened. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it happened. Faith. And I believe this just as much as I believe that, that someday he's going to call for me, and I'm going to go with him. Yeah, like Brother Junior Dunn priest, he said, that them, them that sleep in, now he's going to come back. He said, then the sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Yeah. And Brother Junior done preached about this. We, we that are here, if we're still here, alive and then remaining, we're going to be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. And we're going to be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the earth and forever be with the Lord. Amen. And he said, comfort one another these words. Ain't that, what, what could be any better than that? That's going to happen one of these days. That's right. So let's be ready for it. Right. Got a pass. Yeah. But I feel good. Yeah. If he calls right now, I'm ready to go.
What a journey, what a journey it's been. Paul was a prisoner on a journey over the sea, and the ship with the tempest was tossed. But an angel of God stood by him and said, Fear not, for none will. Lord has kept his promise to never leave me alone, and someday my ship will sail home. What a journey it's been since I met the Master, and Jesus saved me from sin. The journey's been long, and I'm near. What a journey, what a journey it's been. Yes, my journey's been long and I'm nearing the end. What a journey, what a journey it's been. Praise the Lord. And it's getting sweeter every day. Yes, it is. Like a prodigal son, I wandered in darkness, and I traded my life.
can see the Father coming down to greet me. Lord, I'm willing to be. Lord, I'm willing to be just a servant for Thee. Lord, I'm willing to be. Lord, I'm willing to be just a servant for Thee. Any of the family wants to come on up here, we want you to come up where you can see. You can get back here where you can look down a little better back here if you want to. this our brother in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Baptizes our sister in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. This is what it's all about. <coughs>
to praise him. It's been good. Yes. We're going to go ahead and come to a close. I know we've been here a long time and we appreciate your patience. And I'm, I'd wait any time to see something like this. What a blessing it is to witness one, two more souls pulled out of the fire on their way to heaven. It's a great blessing. Something to be thankful for. Anybody